Hi there everyone, Ryan Rastel here for Golfshake.com and as you can see behind me, the very familiar figure of the hotel here at Turnberry. So we are going to get out on the famous Ailsa Lynx today, give you a bit of a flavour of what it's like to play it, but also take a brief look at the King Robert the Bruce course, uh, the wee links that's behind me in front of the hotel, but we're also going to have a look um, around the clubhouse, we're going to go up into the hotel, have a bit of lunch up there and show you some of the scenery you and hopefully all. you'll enjoy what you're about to see. Colin, thank you for joining me. Um, we're here in the clubhouse here at Turnberry and tell us a little bit about what's gone on here in the, well, the last few years really with the investment and the changes to the golf course. Yeah, so uh, really the, the renovation started uh, in 2014 and it started with this building here and uh, the Wheelings Pitch and Park across the road. Yep. Well. The importance of golf to the new owners was and um, that is your, your first approach. Um, and uh, that's, that's what your first sight of the resort and it's important that that looked the way that, that they wanted it to look. Uh, and then the clubhouse here, you know, this clubhouse was built in time for the 94 Open. Yep. Uh, so it hadn't really been touched um, uh, since it was opened in 93. And so they've really just brought it, brought it up to, to modern life. Um, so that, that's where the renovation began and, and then we had the, the women's opening in 15 and then as soon as it was over, uh, they, they also of course shut down for nine months and, and we've got nine new, entirely new green sites um, but to also to ensure continuity all 18 greens were lifted at the same time and, wow. and you know the, every single root zone redone including the putting greens as well so so we've got real consistency throughout the It's a the massive resort. job doing that then yeah job. and we've been up into the hotel we had a bit of lunch in there which was fantastic but this clubhouse building the pro shop everything is, is just lovely isn't it it's just yeah. so nice around here do you get to play much golf here yourself? Uh, not as much as many people think. <laughs> if you want to play golf, don't work in the golf industry. Yeah, absolutely, it's definitely. A common phrase now. Now, when the weather begins to turn, that's when we begin to play golf because we've got less uh, visitors to look after. But um, yeah, no, lucky enough that we've got uh, three fantastic golf courses here to play uh, from the Elsa, the King Robert the Bruce, and the Nine Hole Academy course in the Arden. So we're about to go out and play the Elsa. Any tips for me? Uh, certainly with this weather, you know, try and keep it in the short stuff, that's, that's yep. the, the easy answer, that's always everyone's answer. Um, definitely, you know, a lot of the trouble is in front of the green. Okay. So never, never be afraid to take that extra club. Okay. Just make sure you get it up. Right, well, let's get out there, let's see what challenge this is going to pose, but it, the conditions are uh, not favourable to it's score in particularly well, but let's get out there and have a bit of a look. Play well. So just walking down the 8th now here at Turnbury, as you can probably tell it's very windy, it's starting to rain a little bit, proper uh, Scottish conditions. Um, the course is stunning, as you've probably seen the views are amazing as well. We're just getting to the you know, sort of to the turn really and moving towards the lighthouse which is obviously the iconic feature of this uh, golf course. And, yeah, every single hole really tests you. You've really got to think about what you're doing off every tee, um, and the wind is making it even more tricky. So, fingers crossed we can get around the turn and hopefully start the back nine, which is probably going to be mostly into the wind. Um, well, so uh, yeah, let's see how we go. But awesome experience so far.
So we just got back to the lodge after our round at Turnbury. I couldn't film anything when we got off the course there because it was chucking it down. You can probably see by some of the puddles on the green behind me just how much rain we've had in a really short space of time. So we've returned to our, our base, our hub for the week here at Dundonald Links, but really, really enjoyed Turnbury. How I managed to get 32 points in that weather, I will never know. Four over par in literally brutal wind and rain is probably one of the best rounds of golf I've put together for a long time. So really enjoyed it. But as, as you can see by some of the um, images that we've got here, just how fantastic um, the views are and particularly when you get out to that furthest point of the course near the lighthouse where you've got the, the par 3 there, the ninth where um, they've, they've put the new championship tee in, you can see straight over the rocks um, to, the, to the green and everything and just it's, it's just stunning. Even on a day like we've had today where the weather wasn't our friend We've just absolutely loved it and, and you know, I think we kind of, as golfers, appreciate that sometimes golf courses are set up to beat you up and, and today definitely was and uh, it, it was just such a great experience. First time I've ever played the golf course, I've visited the resort a couple of times before but never actually got a chance to go out and play golf. And we also saw the, the Wee Links there, um, the kind of little academy course that they've got as well as uh, some of the holes on the Robert the Bruce as well, which, which just look fantastic. So um, it's definitely worth a visit and what an amazing place it is. I mean, we had lunch in the hotel as well, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, meeting all the guys down uh, at the clubhouse who were extremely friendly and um, yeah, couldn't do enough for us really. We'll definitely be returning to Trump Turnbury in the near future.